back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, and Nicole is dressed as uh, which one from Kiss? Are you? Who are you? I am Gene Simmons, the demon. <laughs> but I just want to say, how are you doing, people? Who's ready for a rock and roll party? <laughs> we are. Yeah. It's so funny because she's she's the Little Mermaid inside, dressed as Gene Simmons, the demon. Yup. I have a little bun on my head now. You do. You have Angela 90 Day Fiance bun. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, you look really fucking cool. Yeah. You do. You look cool as fuck. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Like, I think you should leave it on straight through All Halloween. Day? Uh, till tomorrow? Yes, yeah. through tomorrow. Why not? Well, people yelled at me kiss when I was walking out there. <laughs> Can you put your like... arms out like a... Wow, she's dressed like a demon. I'm a bat, and I have these spiky things all over my arms. It's fucking amazing. All right, you're going to give us the history of Gene Simmons as Gene. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm Gene Simmons, the demon. (laughs) The other guys are the star man, the space man, and the cat man. Okay, good. That's what I learned. I didn't know all that much about Kiss before this. So I learned some things. <laughs> that's what that's what the segment is for. Yeah. So the band was formed in 1973 in New York City. Holy shit, I was one. I wasn't born. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for their, rubbing it in. Their first album came out in 1974. They have 24 albums. So they have a lot of songs. So I've been listening nonstop for the last week. Oh, I'm I don't sorry. think I got through all of them. There's a lot, though. Are they good? Are there any? Yeah, I like them, actually. You More did? than I thought. Yeah. I only knew them a little bit. Okay. I knew them a little bit because my dad loves heavy metal, so there's that. But the reason I really know rock and roll all night, party every day, is because there's this episode of Full House <laughs> where Uncle Jesse does a polka version of the song. Play the clip. No. I want rock and roll. Jesse. <laughs> no one else would probably know that. If we had a death metal guy come in here, he wouldn't have been able to pull that out of his ass. <laughs> so that's how I know the song. Jesse and the Rippers from Full House. Oh my god. <laughs> Just looking at her is insane. Okay, All right. keep going. So this is what else I learned. Their first three albums didn't sell very well, but their <laughs> live shows did really good. So they're like, why is that? <laughs> Everyone went to their live shows. Nobody's buying the album. So they came out with their first live album called Alive, and that made them super successful. And that's where it kind of took off from there. That's so weird. So people yeah. actually just wanted to see these freaks in person. Yes. More so than listen to their music. But by going to the concert and seeing these freaks, it actually made them kind of like the music. Yeah. Because they liked watching the show, and they said that the album songs didn't really sound like the live versions, and people wanted the live versions. Okay. So they released this album, which I've been listening to for a week, called Alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wish you could sing us a little, but maybe later. Go ahead. Oh, I'm going to sing later. Oh, yes. Dave, it's making... Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, they patented all their makeup designs. They did? Yes. So they're owned by Gene and Paul Stanley. I wonder why just the two of them. Yeah, because when, oh, more fun facts. When the other two guys left the band, Ace Freely and Peter Chris, um, they brought in new guys who are touring with them right now, and they took over those makeup designs. But the old guys are like, oh, man, like we should own those makeups. And then Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley are like, nope, too bad. We own the makeup. So we can replace you guys and use the same makeup. Oh, and did they replace people? Yeah. Cause like continuously? Yeah. They replaced people a couple times, and right now they're touring with new guys, but they're still doing the space man and the cat man <laughs> makeup. Okay, the original makeup. So, so this is interesting to me. So do yeah. you think they went into it knowing that they were going to use makeup to replace people? Or they went into it going, this is fun and it will get people's attention? Well, they first replaced some people and they did new makeup designs like years ago. Like in the 90s or the 80s, I'm not sure. So they got new makeup designs. Then they went a little period with no makeup at all. And now they're like, I guess they're like, the original makeup's what works, even though we have new people. So we're going to do the original makeup with the new people. Are you guys looking at Nicole right now? I wish you can see it, the listeners, because I'm looking at Gene Simmons. Yeah. In Nicole's 
So I watched a video of him <laughs> spitting blood out with doing the tongue thing on a concert, and I was actually terrified. Like, it's scary. It's scary. He's scary. I know, and I touched tongues with him and Ugh. got sick, remember? It was uh, the worst flu of my entire life, Ugh. where that tongue has been. And so Gene has been a little bit of a, like a slut, too, right? Yeah, so I was watching this VH1 documentary about them an hour-long documentary and he said that he would go and look in the crowd and he'd be like to his roadie 14 two or whatever and he would point to a girl in the crowd and that meant like 14 rows in two rows over the roadie go get that girl no. so he could hook up with her later oh shit yeah and that seemed to have went on late into his olden age right yeah and then he dated Cher, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that, but people didn't like it because she's pop and he's rock. And those don't go together. <laughs> That's what they said in the documentary I watched. <laughs> so I didn't know that. I learned that as well. And it, we all saw on the reality show how long it took him to get married. Yeah. I think I watched that show, but I don't remember anything about it. Okay, so yep. what else? Give me right. more. Um. Oh, so in 1983, that was the first time they went out in public without makeups for 10 years. Nobody knew what they really looked You're like. Hitting. Imagine yeah. having that power. Yeah. But then his baby, his ego got the best of him. That's what the one guy said. The drummer, he said that, that you go to places and be like, yo, I'm I'm Peter from Kiss. And they're like, no, you're not. And he's like, I want to be a rock star and get the treatment. But no one knew who he was. Oh, yeah. that yeah. That's the bad part. You can't get a table when you need it. Yeah. So then I listened to some songs to see what I knew and didn't know. So I listened to a song called Strutter, but I like to say it Strutter because that's what they say in the song. <laughs> and that's it. Then I'm listening to the song and I'm like, how the heck do I know the song? I know the song. Then it gets to the guitar part. And I'm like, it was on Guitar Hero 2, no. which I used to play on PlayStation 2. <laughs> so I go home and I'm like to my brother, I'm like, there's this one song, I forget the name, but I know it's on Guitar Hero and I just go dun dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. And my brother joins in, and we're both like, "Yeah, we know the no, song." No, no, <laughs> played a lot of That's guitar here. That's amazing. You're yep. so cute. So Nicole. there's that. Then I listen to. <laughs> I want to see Nicole play Guitar Hero. Can we get video that of that? That fun. I haven't played in a long time, though. Oh. I don't know how my skills are anymore. If you have it at home, can you do one video dressed as this? I think my brother sold oh, it. Oh, okay. okay. I'll yeah. get you another one. Okay. okay. So I can play that. Then I listen to, oh, this is my favorite song, I think. I was made for loving you. This one's good, but some people didn't like it because it's part of more of their disco era of music, and people thought they sold out. Okay. But I personally really like this song. So he was trying to hit a bigger audience. Yeah, and they did reach a bigger audience, but then the hardcore fans are like, this isn't rock and roll. Right, but what, what age were they at this point, though? Maybe they were getting up there. I forget when this song How came old out. is Gene Simmons now? I think he's 70. Damn. Yeah. And at one point, they started getting mad because all their fans started becoming 12-year-olds. <laughs> so then people in their 20s are like, we don't want to like a band who has 12-year-old fans. Right. And then the band got frustrated at that. So what do so. they do? They can't do anything, right? Yeah. I, don't I know mean, I would did. just start getting dirtier. That's what I would do. Yeah. And uh, how much money did they make? Like, are they... A lot. I don't have a number, So Gene, though. though it was a lot. Gene is the master of this gene and paul they were in it together from the very beginning okay yeah do you think it's a 50 50 split Maybe. like are they that kind of even or is I, it... I didn't read it but i would assume they are because it sounds like they started the band together they wrote a lot of the songs so but the other guys yeah they would get outvoted like the new guys that would come in and replace the other guys because those two are like the, the majority. majority yeah do you think after listening to their music that they would have been famous without their makeup would they have ever their music ever been picked up i like their music so maybe <laughs> <laughs> if it's according to me but it sounds like why they got so popular is because of their makeup and the show they performed on stage with the fire and the blood and smashing things and being a demon i'm gonna perform okay All i'm right. so excited hold on i gotta put i have to put my um the music on but i just want to say this is what i'm going to perform there's only one rock anthem rock and roll night party every day <laughs> i love it she's got such balls shit I, I don't know if i would even do anymore <laughs> is she singing phantom karaoke yeah, yeah i oh. gotta bring it up
That's genius. Thank you. My face ID doesn't work on this phone because it can't Shut recognize up. me. <laughs> it takes me a minute. I thought face ID recognizes you by your eyeballs, no? Oh, Not when no you're wearing no. Gene Simmons makeup. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is oh, Nicole. Dresses hold on, Simmons. it's loading. Okay. When it loads. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's, this is guitars. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, no one else can hear this but me. That's okay. I'm filling it up. All right. Your... All right. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let you. You show us everything you've got. <laughs> you keep on dancing and the room gets hot. You drive us wild. We'll drive you crazy. <laughs> yes. They don't dance like this. Yeah. <laughs> you say you want to go for a spin. The party's just begun. We'll let you in. You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy. <laughs> you keep on shouting, you keep on shouting. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. All right, that's good. So proud of you they don't dance like i just danced no, i just did that but you did so good i wish i could have been at home listening to you practice this song. i was practicing in my car for like a week <laughs> so um yeah that brings me so much joy what else anything else about him that we're missing um no that's all i got <laughs> thank you for bringing my birthday to just 100 percent happiness you guys and david thank you for the gifts thank you for oh, letting me torture you're you welcome. 